Yo, hello everyone. In this video, we will walk you through how to set up a two checkout on your WordPress store. To start accepting payments from customers all over the world, you will learn how to install and figure the two checkout payment gateway plugin, customize the settings, and much more. So, let's get ahead and start this tutorial. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, first of all guys, I will show you how to get a WordPress account launched. So the first thing, launch your browser and then go to the URL section. Go here and search for WordPress. So here we go and launch the browser. Go to this website and then click on here to get a WordPress account. Here you might find the one that installs it yourself or set up with the hosting provider. You can get download WordPress 6.2 from here and install it by your own or see our recommended host so you can have a provider. So these are the two ways to actually have your WordPress. And from here, this is from WordPress.org. For WordPress.com, which is this one, let me just go here. You can create your account directly on WordPress. Let me just change the language real quick from this section. So it's gonna be English, here we go. And simply now to create an account, all you have to do is click on get started and then fill this information with your email address, username and a password. Or you can continue with Google or an Apple account. Either way, you will have a free account for the beginning. You can upgrade that account so you can have access to plugins and a custom domain name and much more by choosing one of these plans in front of you. So mainly they have like around four plans that are the main ones and two extra plans which are like basic. Not basic but they are like a side. So one of them is the free one and the other one is the enterprise. The free has limited access and it is of course for free, you don't have a lot of things to do with it but you it can do the work, it will create the website for you and you can like make a simple blog in it. For the enterprise one, it will cost you a lot, about 25k a year and you will have unlimited access to a bunch of features that you won't have in the normal kind of plans. And aside that, you will have four main plans, which are the personal for nine dollars per month. You will have everything in the free plus version. So you will have here, beside like free domain, you will have ad free experience, externally fast DNS with SSO, and support via email. For the premium one, you will have premium themes, and with word ads and style customization. Here you will have for the business one so many things of course everything that has passed you will have it inside of business so the same thing that you have in personal you'll have it in premium that stuff that you find in premium will have them in business plus some extra stuff so here we are finding install plugin in teams so you will you won't have it actually in those two uh unrestricted bandwidth global edge caching high burst capacity web application firewall and uh, like bunch of features that are so much good for a website and finally here for the commerce one, you will have the same things that you have in the business but plus some extra stuff from sell and ship products, store customization, inventory management, user checkout experience, payments in 60 plus countries, sales reports and some other extra stuff. So beside that, you can have either free and enterprise one. And in case you would like to go for the long term with WordPress, you feel like you are going to stay with WordPress for a long time, go for the annual plans because they are much more cheaper. Imagine here, for example, if we tried calculator here and we tried to actually uh, spend 45. So here we go. Sorry, uh, 45. Uh, if we did it in uh, 12, it will be around 540. And otherwise, if we try it by month and you try to pay around 70 per month, it will be around that. So you are going to actually save around the half of it. So it is like 300 uh, that you are going to save, which is so much uh, like money that you are going to save. I really hope you guys to go for the actual 
annual plan in case you would like to have the like the websites for long term and otherwise for this video guys specifically we are going to use my local host so my local host is basically a wordpress website that is on my pc not online so no one can actually see it i have the local host uh, wordpress version because i can use all the premium uh, features in it to show you how to do everything that you have to do without having any problems with like paying or f like having free plan etc so basically in case you'd like to have it you can just go to your local host and slash the wordpress slash wp login dot php and this is for user one two three and you will be logged in into your dashboard it is as simple as that guys so now let's keep up with the tutorial so right now as you notice we have opened finally the dashboard and everything is set up so just go to the same logic which is going to the plugins and click on add new here what i'm going to do is simply go to one of these options so here the first option which is clicking on add plugin from here and uploading the plugin through here so we can click here to the file from our pc and upload it to our wordpress website so if we went here to to check out getaway for uh, wordpress we can find here um, the link so here we go just got payment getaway so this is the actual plugin you can simply click here to download it and then get here choose file and then as you mentioned here or as you can see open install now and it will be installed successfully as you can see the other method which is by going to add new and then click on search plugin and search by name so to check out and now just wait until it loads for you and as you can see here it is the to check out payment getaway for wordpress website click on activate and make sure that it is active through here so let's search for it to check out payment getaway it is actually active so as you can see here you will have uh, the upgrade for pro so it has a premium version if you'd like to have it uh, let's go here and as you can see here here it is you can click here to buy now and this is the plan that you have so it is one-time payment you will have it on a single site and it will be a lifetime update you will have pro support 100% and 100% team capability you can pay either via paypal or via credit card and it will be 35 dollar for life this is how we can uh, uh, add it and how it will look like sorry guys so in general guys it is very easy very adjustable as you may see here and if we went through the pictures uh, let me just go back to the first one it will start by looking like that and we can go through the pictures it's going to be to check out payment method which is uh, the accept in here actually paypal uh, credit card mastercard and even gcb so you can go through all of this again by your own or you can just watch this video and i will show you everything in detail so here if i went to the actual plugin so payment settings and as you may see i don't have really the access to this page because i don't have the live website my website is currently on localhost as i mentioned before so this is only for you guys it will work only for you because you have an online website for me it will not work because i have an offline website which is only on my localhost you can't see it guys no one can see it beside me unless i put my website online nobody can see it but it is very easy to set the settings of this plugin they actually explains everything in here by details so you can go through it and you can contact them if you had any problem and they will make sure to help you so yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you liked it and see you guys in the next tutorial